What's good, y'all? It's your boy T Valley, and you're watching Visions. Hey, eh? today I want to show you guys how I edit music. For some of you guys that don't know, I make music, I rap, I sing, I don't really produce, but I can make like simple beats. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my vocals. So, there's not much of a secret to how to edit, but here I have the song that I recorded about a week ago, and I just added some new vocals yesterday, um, which is these. This one, I'm gonna highlight here, and here, here, and here. So I have four new layers of tracks, and I'm gonna edit this one. So I already did some noise reduction, got rid of some white noise in the background. Now I'm just gonna do a quick conversion from 16-bit to 32-bit. I know it's bad, but I don't know, it's what I do, so it sounds good to me. Now I'm gonna center the wave, and I'm gonna compress it. With uh, this, I don't really know what I'm doing, honestly. I've been doing this since 2010, and I learned it from myself by watching YouTube videos, reading forums, and a lot of practice. Now I'm getting rid of the high S's. Now I'm gonna do kill the mic rumble. These are just filters, by the way. Add some mastering on the heavies and narrows. Kill the mic rumble again. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna play the before and after, so I have an extra backup file just in case you know, the sun can go down. And I have this default preset on how to equalize. I'm not really gonna tell you guys, but you can take notes real quick. Boom. Yeah, so the default is a setting that I came up with. I don't know, it works for me. It might not work for everybody, but if you caught that, it looks for you. You know, it might not work for you, but it works for me. Now I'm going to do some parametric EQ on the highs. I'm going to boost the highs, and I'm going to boost the lows because I have a pretty bassy voice. Kill the mic rumble again, just in case. For the reverb, I have an also a default preset that I have. If you caught that, good for you, but this is what I have, works for me. You could try it out. I don't know if it will work for you, but it works for me pretty good. So I do that, and then I'm gonna reverb again. So for this part, I'm gonna do a natural reverb, just cause it's, this is like the bridge, and I want a little more dynamic to it. All right, so now I do some channel mixer, average that. Back to the parametric EQ, boost the highs again. This is like the finalizing step of mixing for me. Kill the mic again. Kill the mic rumble, I mean. And then I'm gonna do pan slash expand, mastering the width. I don't know if that does anything, but you know, it works out for me. Center the wave again. Sometimes, this is optional, I go back to the graphic equalizer and then do spit clear, which helps the clarity of the vocals. And then I kill the mic. Do the spit clear again, because this is the part where you sing. For echo, I'm gonna add some echoes on this. The DK for the left and right is 35%. Delay is 705.9. And then the initial echo volume is 35%. Hit okay. Go sound ba ba bomb bomb. I'm gonna add a flanger, a light flame, flange or whatever you call it. This is actually one of the backup vocals for the bridge. So I'm gonna add a little effects on it. I'm gonna reverb again, do a slow attack verb, a nice presence. Then, last but not least, natural reverb again. So I'm gonna play you the before, just the raw vocals of the before, without autotune, let me find it. So this is without, without autotune. I can sing pretty good, but a little autotune can help a bit. Alright, so that's a little bit of that. That's not autotune, and this is the one with autotune. They can say whatever they want to decide. Not so perfect, but it doesn't matter because it's the backup vocals. And then edited is going to be like this. It's going to be a little more clear, a little more vibrant. They can say whatever they want to decide. So yep, that's how it turns out to be from being raw without auto-tune and then auto-tuning it and then mixing it and then making it sound beautiful, excuse my language. And this is how it's going to sound like. Let me put these up real quick. I like to stay organized. I'm going to play from right here. This is going to be the chorus. So here we have the main vocals up here and then some backup layerings. So this is the one I just edited. 
and uh, right now I EQ'd it at the low is at 8.5, the mid is 6.5, and the high is at 2.5. Um, I pan it, so I have two layers actually. So one on the left at 50, the right at 50, and the volume is at negative 14.5 because you don't want to overdrive it. They can say whatever they want to decide. So yeah, I'm not really done with it yet. I still have this one to mix down here. That's why it sounds not as mixed down yet. But um, I might tweak around with this. This song's called Good Enough. It's gonna be out pretty soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know down below. If you make music too, that's so awesome. Like I mentioned before, I love making music. I enjoy making videos, photography. Any questions, just let me know. I'm using Quet Pro 2.1. I've been using this for pretty much my whole entire music career since 2010. Um, I've dabbled around with FL Studios but not so much but I use FL Studios pitch correcting, auto-tune, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Yeah man, I'm gonna have to see y'all later. Peace! You probably couldn't tell but I got a story to tell. Okay.